Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rosquit. Uh, today we are continuing our adventure in Uncharted 3 as we are now in some sort of underground tunnel network that's been... I don't know, it's just weird. Um, but we're on the... Uh, excuse me. We're tracking down Talbot and I forgot her last name, but Catherine, uh, who have stolen stuff, so... Rustin for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving there. I don't think so. Wait. There's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> crap. It looks like this way. Excuse me, Sully. Okay, so this will take us around. Okay, that works. Wasn't that hard? I meant to jump to the left. Thank you very much. There's a path to the left and just made me go straight by rat. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I need to go that way. And I need to just... Just jump that way. Thank you. Careful. Oh, shit. Get down. Okay. okay so where am I going here? I forgot. Hey, Whoa. There's Marlo's car. Okay, let's rotate and get it around these. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Still good. Spin you around. Okay. We're doing okay. Hands up. Oh, uh, we must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah. Is this King's Cross? <laughs> station or something. Yeah, yeah, but he's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus. Jeez. I think things can't get any weirder. God, all these statues and everything, too. Come on, 
They must have gone through here. Wow, oh, this stonework looks like Tudor, 16th century. So I believe I need to go upstairs. Up this way. But not regrettable, sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? <laughs> I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. WWE Not very good at your jobs. This is quite the operation they got going here. Oop, it is on the side. Excuse me, Cutter. Excuse me, Cutter. Thank you. Don't. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Well, those become important. What are you? My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T. E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know. was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Golden Hind. 
A golden hide. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. Golden hind was the goat head. What the hell are we looking for anyway? The golden hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting? Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Oh, could be a Buckland Abbey for a we know. Buckland Abbey is a place you've never been there. Move on. What well, is a chair that's huh. from the wood of his ship? Oh, so that's what that was for. Okay. It could be, but... No. No, it's got to be here. Oh, Annie would be pissed. <laughs> Wife Quill would be pissed off at me right now cuz I'm walking on centuries old. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a trap. They're here. Take cover. Silence isn't going to make it make any difference now. Hit him. Thank you. Where are they? Oh god, there's a lot of them. down steady do they know I'm here Sully ow okay that gives me a semi-automatic now I'll take that. And that. Are you seriously not dead? How are you guys still alive? I shot you in the head, and from what I can tell, you're not wearing any helmets. Oh shit, they're everywhere. Did you guys get them? Okay. We've got to keep moving. Ow. Okay, I need to get my health back, guys. I've never seen that animation before. That's pretty good. Can't see anything. They run? Ow. 
Okay. Nobody there. Moving on. Let's drop it. Going up. I guess I randomly hit a propane tank, which hurt them. Okay. Oh my god. your stuff. Cutter, where the hell are we? The North Atwood Station, come on. Show yourself. Yeah, stick your head out, that's a great idea. They're coming around the left side. Are you gonna come all the way around the train? Yep. They tried to. Oh, there's a gun there, I want it. Oh, it might be... Might have been a pistol. Nice shot. Yeah, still, I'm still more comfortable with assault rifles in these games. Yeah, there's no cover there. Let me get my health back, guys. This is a really long chapter, right off the bat. <sighs> Working on it. Going up. Get ammo back. Back up, back up. Go. <laughs> Nice shot. So then the guy says, Well, you better tickle mine too, because now I gotta catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. 
the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Hey, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. <laughs> before, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Oh, city of immeasurable wealth. Destroyed by God for its arrogance. Swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubokali Desert. Right here. Well, I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. But more importantly, that's what Marlowe was after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. That time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. <laughs> all right, so... That is our escape out of the underground passage in London. What the hell? Um, so now we have to look into some ancient um, castles, chateaus, fortresses, and everything coming up in the next few episodes. So that'll be fun. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, 
I really enjoy these games. I always have. I can't wait to get into 4 and, um, four and Lost Legacy because I have not played those, but I want to play them in order on the channel, so awesome. Uh, anyways, if you like the episode, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I always get back to you if you try if you leave a comment with me, and I really hope to see you all in the next episode. So, see you later, everybody.